Hey guys, and welcome to Car Guy 1999 Reviews. Today, thanks to Infinity of Nashua in Nashua, New Hampshire, we have the 2024 Infinity QX80 Sensory. Now, this vehicle features the new for 24 dark chrome appearance package, which looks absolutely awesome. However, the real big news now with the arrival of 2024s is we're taking up to $10,000 off MSRP on 2023 QX80s. I'll have a link to our QX80 inventory in the description below. We do deal with <coughs> everybody in the US, so we do arrange, help arrange shipping uh, and all that fun stuff. So if you're interested in a QX80, we're the place to go. I'll have a link in the description below. Now, off the mandatory sales plug. This one is a sensory trim level, of course, with the saddle brown interior, with the, uh, not split bench, the captain's chairs pack. Absolutely gorgeous. So moonstone white over the saddle brown interior, dark chrome appearance pack, radiant uh, illuminated kick plates, cargo pack for an as tested price of 93,005. This one features, and I'm pretty sure I can say this, uh, for the last year, the 5.6 liter V8. That's right, this is the last year of a V8 QX80. Not sure if I can officially say what motor is in the new QX80. I know it's horsepower, it's torque up, but I can't say it, uh, cause I don't know if it's publicly announced but it is not naturally aspirated and it is not a V8. So if you want a naturally aspirated V8, this is your last chance to get one. Um, and I'll definitely miss this thing. This is a big V8, tons of torque, 400 horsepower, I think actually it might be a little bit more than that, but um, it is what it is. I love these things. I've spent a ton of time in them. And it's just, it's such a nice car. And I cannot wait to try the 25. I mean, obviously you guys know the 25 redesign is coming. Although we, I know when, but it's still kind of up in the air. Um, but I think for people who want a V8, this is kind of a dying breed. All the big SUVs now are going turbo. I mean, even the Highlander is turbo now. You know, that used to be a big honking V6, but now it's turbo. It's a turbo four. And while I've not driven the new motor, that's going in these. I could say it's not gonna sound as good as that. And I, I'm sure that there's some people with me that say, yeah, it's gonna be a good motor. There's a lot of turbocharged engines out there that are good, but they just don't have the sound and character of a big displacement NAV8. There's a reason why people love Hellcats as a piece. A uh, reason why people love Mustangs, five liter Mustangs. And that reason is for the big V8 they have up front. I don't know. I think we're gonna look back in time and say this is the era that we miss is these last of the big NA motors.
we're gonna miss this we definitely are but we'll see what ends up happening this thing yeah they're dated yeah it's in dire need of a redesign yes it's been the same largely since like 2011 I really don't care these things are just unique and yes the previous generation well not generation but pre facelift looked like a beluga whale I don't know there's just something about these things that I'll miss. It's a came from an era where let's put a big V8 in big SUVs. I don't know. I've seen pictures of the new one. It's absolutely stunning. It's gonna be it's gonna be a game changer, just like the QX60 was. But I think looking back, and I think people are gonna say this was you know this was something unique it's a big v8 and a big suv uh, it wasn't unique a couple years ago now it's pretty unique especially in 24 so this is going to be a pretty rare bird too it's a very short production run so i think we're going to look back and say the 24s were uh, something special thank you guys so much for watching please like share subscribe i'll see you all in the next one